Yeah, it's always special coming back here. You know, it's a it's a fun place to play. Um, yeah, it's obviously nice when you're winning too to come here. But uh, yeah, it seems like a little extra juice from guys when you come back to Toronto. I think every team goes through that. What's the biggest challenge you see on the other side tonight? Well, they got high end talent. You know, if you cheat the game and you're not on your game, the puck's in the net. So we know what we have to do tonight uh, when you play the, a Leaf team. I mean, they got star players, and uh, you know, I've seen games in the past, in the present, where they can score two, three goals in three, four minutes. So you got to be on your game. Can you agree with Nylander right now? He's, yeah. You know, what are you seeing? Well, I just, he's just, even last year, he's, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that uh, he can make plays on his own, uh, make plays for his teammates. Um, he was killing penalty. I mean, you know, shorthand goal last night was a huge goal. Like, things like that. He's just a, you know, he's obviously one of the, t he's got to be definitely in the top you know, I don't know what number, but he's definitely up there as one of the top players in the league, 100%. When you were playing, how important was accountability to successful teams, and how important was that to transfer when you became a coach, the accountability aspect? Yeah, I think accountability starts just not even coaching staff or organization-wise. It's also uh, with the players. And I think you have to, player, uh, as a coach, develop those players in the room to, to be, make themselves accountable. It's hard for the coach to always, always you know, be in their ear, and I think it's important. And that's why I give the players a lot of credit. They, they know how to handle stuff when things are going a little bit haywire. Um, and when you have that, it makes your job easier for the coaches. Uh, so, yeah. We are talking to uh, Ken Hitchcock yesterday, and he said to be a good coach, you have to be a good salesman. Is that part of the job? You have to sell the accountability? Like, this is, you know, we're, if we do this right, this will work? Yeah, I like using the word uh, sales. I like more of a partnership. You know, yeah. it's more of a partnership. And, you know, sometimes a coach has got to make hard decision where if you've got to make a player accountable that, you know, you might not want to, the optics of it, but you have to do it sometimes. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just got to let some guys have a little bit of rope, too. You, you, and those, most of those guys can handle that stuff in the room. What's the addition of Lafferty meant to you guys? Yeah, it was a big, big pickup for us. Uh, adding um, just a, you know, I hate to use the word grinder, but just a heavy guy on the forecheck. Uh, I didn't know, I knew he was a good, our scouting report was a good skater. I didn't know he was that good of a skater through the neutral zone. Um, and also the intangibles, he's, just, he's, he's only been here, what, a month or he's, he's, he's a well-liked guy. Guys love him. So when you, when you add a guy that all of a sudden 24 guys love the guy, you know that you're, you're getting a good character guy. What it will be like for him? I know he wasn't here long, but I'm sure he had high hopes for, for what could come in Toronto. Yeah, he's bounced around a little bit. And I think, you know, this could be a spot maybe he can hang around for a while. Because, I, I, you know, I love laughs. I think he's a, he's a, a, a Vancouver Canucks player that we need. So um, hopefully he's a guy that can be here for a bunch of years. So um, that's why I feel he's given our team a lot of juice. Do you see any signs that the success is causing guys to ease off at, at all? Or do they still seem as engaged for each game? Yeah, I'd be worried if it's a, if a, you know, you get those games as a team where you just say, you know, for 60 minutes or 50 minutes, they're just not into it. We've had stretches, obviously. Uh, the game before, what was the game before? Uh, Ottawa helped me out. Uh, Edmonton, yeah, we uh, we were lit, obviously the first ten, but we got our game back. And then Ottawa, obviously there was little chunks of game that they were kind of on us. Um, but what I like is I liked our third, and I like we didn't bend. So if it starts, you know, if we start getting 30, 40, 50 minutes, that type of thing you're talking about, I'd be worried. But it's just pockets of the game. We we got to put a complete 60 together. It's been a couple of games where we haven't played a, a full 60 to our identity. driving accountability and driving the team. It almost seems like you're there already. Has this has this happened, like the building the, that culture, has it happened faster than you thought it would? Yeah, I don't know if the time frame, but I, I just see um, I just see examples on the bench. You know, we're playing Ottawa, and um, a couple of guys that you usually don't hear from were yelling to a couple, you know, yelling at a player, but coming off, hey, you got to get that puck in deep. Usually, you know, it comes from me or somebody else, maybe in one or two, but now it's coming from more branches of, of players on our team. Um, you know, if a guy's, you know, sticking out the blue line when he shouldn't, he comes off. You know, the, and the guys are saying it right. It's not like they're yelling at the player, but they're, the, you're getting guys, it doesn't matter if it's their stature, we'll tell the guy, hey, man, you got to get in deep. And, and then you're getting that player. You know, Petey, for example, came off a couple times. He goes, you know, I'm, i got to get the puck. You, like, take an ownership. Like, i got to get this puck in. I'm awful right now. 
Um, and then he scores a goal and, you know, a big assist. Like, that's the sort of stuff you're looking for as a team. What's your sense of him early this season? Because he's in there, he's talking, I didn't like my game last game. I got to be better. Yeah, well, he, he, you know, I, I, you know, there's some things there he's dealing with, but, but he's, he's good. Um, he's just got to move his feet. That's when he gets in trouble. He knows it. And then he, that's what I love about him is he'll say it. I mean, I don't forget what the game the other night. He came up and he called me out of the office just to apologize for his game. I mean, that's just, I mean, you got to love guys that do that. I mean, you know, I don't, it's not that I have to go search for him. He's coming to me telling me he's not playing well and he's leading the league in points. So he must be doing something right. <laughs> Uh, Mark Andre Fleury is inching closer to, to Patrick Waugh, number two yeah. in, the, in the wins list. We, we, from your time with him, what did you appreciate about about the player, the person? Probably, you know, I've been involved in hockey. One of my top play, uh, players. To, I'm, not, I'm not a goalie coach, but to be around as a coach, top three for sure. Just an unreal human being. I've seen some instances where he didn't play when Matt Murray did, and he probably should have played sometimes. And it's just a great teammate, and obviously his play on the ice. Um, Everywhere he goes, he's uh, probably the most well-liked guy. Um, he single-handedly he won a series there in Pittsburgh. I just remember those instances where he was just unreal for us. Did he ever prank the coaches? Uh, no, yeah, not really. It's most of the players. I, 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 I got a good one. I can't tell you, though. Oh, come on, come on, come I just, no, I can't. It's yeah. all time fair, but that's for, that's for another room. No. That's for a book, yeah, 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 yeah. Book, yeah. Could I help but notice your uh, stick that you were using? What's the story? It looks vintage, man. That's uh, that's Gretz's, uh, Wayne Gretzky. He's got a, he's doing something with Northlands, so he asked me to use it. Okay. So, so it's not old. Per uh, se. I'm it's trying to get a fee off him, but I'm gonna, no, <laughs> uh, no. It's, it's I think it's honestly it's it's for it's a cheaper stick for people like an affordable Is it stick. Wood? It's wood. It's like an affordable stick for for. Um, People play, where they're playing beer league, which is good. You know, instead of, I think it's like thirty bucks or something. So, so it's it's kind of cool. And I think he's donating to charity uh, to charities anything that he makes, which is cool. That's that's Wayne, you know. Yeah. Richard saw Bluger skating late. Safe to assume he's not going to make his debut tonight. No, but he's you know he could be in tomorrow night. He can be in the next night. He's very close. Um, you know he's got no pain, which is you know that's like it's his third day now with no pain, which is was great. So with, uh, with your goalies. Back to back. Who starts tonight? Who starts tomorrow? Uh, Demers in tonight. Smitty tomorrow. Yep. With, yep. With somebody like Bluger, who obviously was going to be a port part, but he hasn't played. The team is playing this way without yeah. him, and the guys on the fourth line all seem to be right. playing well. So philosophically, as a coach, how do you approach getting a player back in? I got a tough decision. Like that's really what it comes down to. It's, and when you have those tough decisions, that's a good thing. I am, you know. Sometimes a guy gets pulled out, not necessarily for his play. It's just you want to get a guy in, and you know that's the tough part of the coaching. And we might have that decision tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, maybe we won't. So I think it's for now. It's a a day to day thing for for the coaching staff to decide. Myself. Is the biggest challenge against the Leafs tonight? Uh, I mean, they're a good team, uh, but for us, we our effort last game could have been a lot better. So I think uh, we're focusing on us tonight. Yeah, I saw you. you post-game comments, you mentioned that you didn't even like your game, even though you had the points. What, what are you looking for from yourself tonight? I mean, just be better overall, not not be as sloppy, not turning pucks over. Um, we came away with a win last game, but uh, we've got to be better than that and uh, yeah, bring a better effort tonight. Does that accountability and critical look at your own game give you even more confidence with this group that everyone wants to continue to get better? Yeah, I think it's a mindset now. and. Uh, uh, mindset we have now that we're keeping each other accountable, uh, high standards, and uh, I think that's what's brought our success, uh, success uh, starting this season. Is that something that Rick really emphasized when he came in, the, the accountability aspect? Yeah, it's like always bringing it, bringing it every day. Uh, every day is a new day. Uh, what you've done in the past uh, doesn't matter because uh, you got to bring it every day. So I like that. It's a good mindset. and. Uh, yeah. Is off to a really hot start. What stands mm -hmm. out about what he's doing right now? I mean, just this game. Just this, uh, he's creating from everything, and um, yeah, he's, he's fun to watch. Where do you think he belongs in the discussion of the top guys in the league? I'm excited to play him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys uh, will do those standings. Yeah, I'm excited to play him tonight. I'll say that. How well do you know Klingberg? Uh, not much. I mean, we uh, we played each other, uh, each other with each other, um, one uh, Swedish tournament, and whenever I see him, I talk to him a little bit. But yeah.
when you've had his best, he's off to a bit of a tough start this season, but when you've seen him at his best, what are you seeing from Klingberg? I see an offensive guy who uh, makes plays and uh, make uh, others around him better. And, uh, and, I see, and yeah. What, what sort of impact has Lafferty made? He, he's bringing speed, he's bringing physicality. Uh, he's uh, always been tough playing against him uh, with his work ethic and everything. So, uh, and he's been very good for us so far, and we're happy we, yeah, we got him. What do you like the most about how Quinn has started this season? Yeah, where do you start? Uh, he's been, he's just been great all over the ice. Uh, everyone knows he's good offensively, but I think today, or today, uh, this season, people are really recognizing his uh, defensive play as well. Uh, I mean, you can just look at his number, his plus, minus, etc. So, um, yeah, very happy to see where his game's at now. How would you describe, Elias, the uh, the feel around the team this year, at this time of the year, compared to where the group was a year ago? Yeah, yeah. Last year was uh, last year. Uh, this year is way better, obviously. Uh, I think we obviously are off to a good start, but just like our mentality and the way we approach practices and everything I think it's uh, it's much better uh, coaches sets a standard for us and uh, yeah we just follow along and yeah when Dem goes in a room, how much confidence does that give the guys in front of them? Uh, the Schmidt is fantastic in that as well so I think both goalies have played great yeah. Demko is uh, Demko's Demko is played fantastic for a long time now and and yeah he he raised his uh, game even more this year